Welcome back to Le Pinky for episode 12 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I have got some work to do. Crops are still cracking on, no problem at all. They're not quite there yet, but I'm going to sort these grass bales out in this episode. I think, yeah, that's what we're going to do. What I need to do is grab a tractor. Oh, I've got stuff all over the place, haven't I? Oh, I've still got pig feed in here as well. Yeah, not a problem. Let's go and grab the uh, the newish tractor, shall we? Over to the store. So I need to keep my eye out for that root uh, crop contract. There are a few contracts available at the moment. Most of them are cultivating all on small fields, so that five, six hundred euros at a time, which is okay, but I do need to get this done if we're going to make more money. So we are going to lease, and I haven't used this before. Like I said, I think when I mentioned this originally, I've only used it when I did the review. So we're going to use one of these. The Anderson Hybrid Extractor. So use the uh, Actually I'm doing round bales, I don't need to have that one do I? Although it is rather cool. How much is it to lease? 1779 providing I get everything done in the first hour per operating hour 732 that's not horrendous I should have everything done within two hours so we will lease this and now I've got to remember how it works <laughs> oh dear that's going to be interesting is it Perfect. Not far to go with it. So what are people's thoughts then? The uh, John Deere Cotton DLC? Yeah, I don't know, I'm a little bit... <laughs> no, I'm not going to say anything controversial. At least I'll try not to. I think it's cool. I know I did say when the cotton baling came to the game and I did a bit of research into cotton baling and how it all worked and that kind of thing. I was really impressed with it. Actually, let me just check something here. Yeah, it's all done from the vehicle, isn't it? Um, yeah, it was all really, really cool. And I did look up and find that John Deere did a round baler. So it's nice that it's coming to game. Although, to be fair, most of that DLC pack is, um, is it McCormack? McCormack and Lizard. There's only one John Deere piece of equipment in it, so it's a bit... I don't know, it's just me being me. Right, that's that unfolded. I should have left that open, shouldn't I? Uh, what else do we need to do? Start engine. Oh. Uh, and then... There, we're good to go. Actually, what I might have, should have done, really... It's felt up. They should do um, Anderson Bale Wrapper Racing. I think that would be... Uh, that would certainly be a sport to watch, wouldn't it? Yes, it's official. I have lost my mind. But never mind. It's all good. Right, stop there. Now unfold. Fantastic, right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to jump out of that. Actually not, I will do. Let's jump back in it. Turn the engine off for a minute. What I'm going to do is go and grab the Massey Ferguson. So I'm going to be now 
collecting bales, putting them into that, getting them wrapped, and we should have a nice long silage sausage. Uh, where are we go? And I have got bale spikes. show you what I meant about yeah look I've got bales all over the place where I went round and cut all the grass that I could some of it I can't collect until the fields have been oh, that's a good point actually I don't want to damage crops do I never mind I'm sure I'm going to miss some somewhere. So I think what I'll do is I'll start off with the ones that are closer, that are actually right in the field, and then the ones that are literally further afield, I'll um, worry about those later. So, what we'll do then, is now we'll turn the engine on. some strange stargate portal but with bale wrap I really cannot wait to get my wheel and pedals set up when I get them. So that's going to make such a huge difference to all of this. Now I could have done this with a conventional bale wrapper or the baler wrapper and I could have done it all in one go but I wanted to use this bit of equipment otherwise it just sits and doesn't get touched on that. Whoa, we're getting some slip.
Well, as you can tell, I'm concentrating, <laughs> hence the lack of chat, but it's nice to be back on Lepinki. I'm loving Washo, I think it's brilliant. I'm hoping to get up to some quite big machinery on that as well. How are we looking on the sausage front? Not bad. Not bad at all. I can't actually remember how many bales I did, but it's a few. This is really struggling today on the uphill sections. It's unusual. Note to self, try not to damage the least equipment. That is very cool. Okay, so as you can imagine, I've got a few to do. So I shall continue. Trying to decide, do I want do I go for one long sausage or two smaller? I think the only problem being that doing it in the middle of the field it means if I want to cut this field again it's in the way. I probably should have set this up off the field thinking about it, but it's alright. I'm probably gonna take them to sell them at the BJ at some point anyway. So I'd have a go at the whole, uh, the whole process. Cool. So I decided the quickest and easiest way of doing this because it was taking me a while and actually the further afield I was going to get them the longer it was taking. So I've leased the um, Flegel DPW210 auto load under bailing technology. It was the modded one, that's the standard in-game one. And I leased... Now this was what it first came with I believe when I did the mod review but then I think they had an update and you've got these two now as well. So I leased that one there, the uh, DPW 180, not 280, sorry, 180B auto load. So there you go, that's what I've used and it just made life a little bit easier. So what I can do now is, um, close that up. Fantastic. I can just load up the, uh, the sausage maker from here really. So it's going all over the place, isn't it? Right, let's get the back on. There we go. Just makes more sense, doesn't it? I've got to go miles. Although I've just suddenly realised if I take it from this end, because it's going to roll backwards, isn't it? And otherwise I'm going to be in my own way.
that's better. Now, in the background, you can probably see the crops are now ready, which is all good news. I need to uh, get on with those. So I think what we might do is stop part way on this. Because like I said, I've got a couple on in between fields. If I clear the cornfield first, I don't think we've got a corn header, have we? Have to lease a corn header, so more expense. But Pinky and Perky are going to love it. Means they've got crops. We'll put them into storage. And that'll be for the pig feed. Whoops. Up a bit. There we go. That's better. Right, so just back from the store, I've leased the Ziegler Corn Champion header. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I tried the Capello um, Diamond HSA 6 metre one. I thought that would be okay, but didn't like it. It would not run. Uh, so, yeah, here we are. What joy. The uh, solid sausage. I've got one more bale there to go in. Something seems to have gone a bit awry over there. Never mind, and like I say, I'm going to do this field because I'm sure I've got one or two knocking around by the edge of the field. If I, if I haven't, it's not the end of the world. Let's turn that on. Now this field especially has got a couple of bits on it which are at funny angles. So you get bits like that where it misses crop. So I'll have to come back at a different angle just to catch those. I'm pretty sure field 11, I'm sure I put corn in that as well because I wanted to make sure I had more corn but again it's all got to be harvested, it's all going to go into storage so it doesn't really matter but yield should be pretty good everything was done on it we did lime it's, it was ploughed or subsoiled and two fertilizer states so yeah we should be good on this that's what we need plenty of crop in storage and then once we've got a load of crop in storage we'll get some more pigs i can always fall back on getting some pig food uh, from jeremy ben and elise if i need to which isn't a problem and then I'll supplement my income for paying for the pigs and things like that. We're doing contracts for other farmers locally. Um, I'm thinking of putting some olive trees in. Uh, that was a new mod that came out yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, the 10th of July. Um, 
So yeah, I might well do that. That was who was that by? Robimel eighty one modding, wasn't it? So I might yeah do that. Be nice having a couple of olive trees. When I say orchard, I'm not gonna go mad, but I could get a few. Just gotta pick a spot of land to put it on though. I'm thinking as I found on um, Washo, I've got a small case and uh, I, need, I do need a big harvester, a bigger harvester and I think for the first time I'm going to go big big. I might get an ideal on there but I'm going to have to save up for it of course but this map, I'm, I'm happy with this one. I might go a little bit bigger, maybe the Massey or the larger Rossell Mash, the 161 maybe. That might have been a bad idea actually. Yeah, could do that. It's going to mean doing a fair few jobs though to make the money. Happy days. Actually, to be fair, with the pig feed I bought, the surplus I've got because I bought way more than I needed. I could get some more pigs, kind of now anyway, so I start increasing. So I mean that misses bits, it's hot, isn't it? It's just the angle of the field, I think. Yeah. Very weird. I'll get around there. Is that damage anything at the back? Ah! Potentially. <laughs> yep, still miss some. Okay, so what I'm thinking then is this, like the uh, silage sausage I'll continue this a little bit off screen I think just so I can get ahead of myself a bit there's absolutely nothing wrong with just doing one job in an episode but I do need to make some progress I do need to get some more pigs because I said this is going to be a pig farm I am doing farming I've planted crops I'm harvesting them got my greenhouse which is going rather well I mean, realistically, when you think about it, I set myself a target of setting up a pig farm. Technically, I've got two pigs. I've done that. So, anything else I do is just fun. I'm just playing. I never set myself on this one a target of a particular amount of money or anything like that. I didn't say I needed to get a hundred pigs. I just said I was going to do a pig farm. So, it's all good. And we're looking nearly full. So actually if I set a worker, it's gonna fill up before I can get back. But never mind, okay. Oh, which means I've got to empty I need to empty that trailer. never actually sorted out a concrete plot, did I, or anything to put it onto. Ah. You know what, I might just have to dump it on the ground round here for the time being. And sort out with a bucket later, I think. Yep, I think just here.
Oh, farm dog snappy. Thinking probably the postman. That's what he normally gets quite irate about. Okay, right. Let's get this unloaded. I really don't know what's wrong with him today. There we go. Fantastic. So what are we looking at now? Two weeks to Farmcon. No, it's two or three. So don't stay tenth. Three weeks. Oh, actually, when do I go? Twenty eighth. No, it is, isn't it? Just over two, isn't it? Two and a bit. That's quite scary. Cool. Weird enough, I can't find that bale I thought was here. Where was it? I thought I had a couple up this stretch here, that's why I was doing this field. But maybe I didn't do this side. Oh, hang on. That's weird, I didn't pass one here either. Or <laughs> maybe I just dreamt it. I could have sworn I had a bale up here somewhere. Either that, or those pesky bale thieves are back again. Oh, I don't know. Okay, right. So if there's not another one knocking about, I can finish off that bale wrap while the corn harvest is going. I'll do that. That's good news. Right, that will continue. I think I'm going to get a really good yield off this. Actually, let's just check the, um, the sat map. Whoops, I was on the sat map. What am I doing? Uh, field 11. Yeah, that's corn as well, isn't it? That was a good call. Let's just check the contract situation again, see if there's any... Oh, fertilising. Uh, field 9, I'm going to accept that now, because that's not a bad payout, and I'll jump on that in a bit. Yeah, there's no harvesting jobs yet. We're in the cultivating, planting phase, aren't we, at the moment? So, uh... There'll be nothing to do yet, although depends what we're actually Yeah, it's all cultivating, isn't it? Well field thirty six, that's not a bad payout. I'll pick up a couple. Right, let's get this finished first then. Now, I'm really confused here because it looks like there's a bale sticking out and I sh I'm sure Now that is odd. Because that bale was on those tines. I'm telling you, there's someone on the farm mucking around with my bales. Never mind, right, so this is the last one then. So that's it. I'm, I'm probably going to come across one now, having said that. Now, how do I do? I finish it off? Do I? Let's check this. Unload bales. I'm assuming that's what it is, isn't it? Unload bales. L3. Fantastic, fold bale wrapper. I mean, to be fair as well, for only 30 grand, 
It's not bad to own one of those, is it? Really? Hmm. I'm not going to, but I could do. Uh, right, now, the good thing with this is... Let's just take that off. Because they're all now wrapped, they are sil silage bales, you don't necessarily have to wait a particular amount of time. I'm pretty sure, yeah, if I come up and do that... Um, okay, that's weird. I thought these are supposed to open, aren't they? Like with a slice. Oh, it's L3. L3, cut open bale, there we go. So by cutting them open, you're exposing the silage inside. So that then is a silage bale individual, which means I could then take them individually and sell them, or actually I could use the auto load trailer again, which I used to gather them up. So in a very quick process, I've taken them from grass bales to silage bales to unwrapped silage bales, which I can now transport to the biogas plant and sell. Rather than being in one long sausage, they are now technically separate bales. Actually, what I will do while I'm doing this, <coughs> excuse me, is um, let's check this and see if this one will pick them up. So I know there was a lot of talk when this mod first came out that certain autoload bale trailers weren't working. And the downside of this one is getting it to the unload point because the unload point's quite narrow with the ramp. Uh, what do I need to do? Operating position. Operating position four or five. Yeah, four, there we go. I said we'll do them. Okay. So I can take them straight to the biogas plant like that. Even if I have to unload off this trailer using the um, Massey Ferguson again, that will work. Cool. Now obviously, if you use a normal bale wrapper, and it does individual bales, I could have just picked them up individually and put them on here rather than the sausage then I'm wrapping them but one thing that people often complain about <coughs> when you do silage bales and you take them to the biogas plant is that you wouldn't put a wrapped silage bale into the digester because the wrap would make a mess of everything so yeah it's a fair point that you would take the wrap off so I suppose that's more uh, that's what I'm doing I'm taking the wrap off to ensure now as well if you're new to the game or you know, on seasons when you wrap bales and seasons isn't out for 19 yet but it's on its way um, on 17 once you wrap a bale you have to leave it a certain amount of time to ferment on 19 at the moment um, once you've wrapped a bale it's a silage bale that's it you don't have to wait so the fact I've just unwrapped these straight away these are are, are now silage bales I haven't got to wait a particular amount of time and if you wait longer you're not going to make more money on them or anything like that until seasons comes out then that could all change of course um, but uh, I do now have a full grain tank on my harvester so let's just turn that off actually you know what this will take 30 bells I think Oh, we're at 30 and I've got two left. So what I could do then is take the um, Massive Ferguson over. So what I can do now then is unload them onto the trailer, I think. <coughs> is that how that works? Again, let's check. Some of these are often different. So let's go unload bales. Unload bales here. And then we can tension strap. Hasn't strapped all of them though, interestingly. Transport position 9, puts that back bit up. I can take these over to the biogas plant as is. Although, it looks like I'm getting a little bit of wheel slip off that tractor. And it's only a 90 or 95 horsepower. That's a lot of bales to be tugging. But yeah, we're good. So that's the silage bailing situation done. I'll get those over to the biogas part. I can get them all thrown in. And then at midnight, we'll... One mile an hour, but it's still going. Come on. Keep plugging away. We're nearly up on the flat. Um, yeah, then at midnight, we'll get paid for those. 
and I can cut this grass again now and do loose silage back into the bunker silo. I can do another load of that before midnight. So technically, re I mean, I could I could make money on silage bales, which could technically keep me ticking over for feed for the pigs and things like that. But that's not the only jobs I want to do. Right, that's that there. That will get sent off. That's not a problem at all. Right, let's get the rest of this corn done. I'm happy I've got that done. That's brilliant. I'm over the other side, aren't I? Of course I am. Very strange. Looking good. Actually, you know, I might well do that. I might get mowers out again I might get that filled I might get it done mow it again and then get it picked up and put into the bunker silo so I know I've got those bales in I've then got those as well yep can do right well more jobs done silage bales done we made our silage sausage I've used a different bit of equipment which I don't often use our harvest on our home fields is underway. Corn here, and then we'll get onto the rest in a bit. Uh, we've got, I think it was canola in this one, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was canola in this one. Was it wheat in the other one? What did I put in them? I looked at it a while ago as well, didn't I? I didn't really pay much attention. Yeah, wheat and um, canola. So it'll still be those root crops we're going to need. So we can top up with pig food for the time being until we've got a root crop. I could plant a root crop, I suppose, couldn't I? Maybe once I've harvested field 33, I could put root crop in there. That'd be plenty. Because um, the yield's really high on potatoes. And yeah, I might do that, actually. If I... Hmm, just thinking. I don't know. Ideas, ideas buzzing around my head. Anyway. Yes, we are done for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, we're getting there. We get a few more jobs done. I think next episode we'll probably get some more pigs. Um, I've got a load more pig food on the floor, so I can give them the pig food. That's not a problem at all. I'll get these size barrels taken up to the bunk, uh, up to the BGA, and we'll get those put in. Maybe get some more of that done. Some more contract work, and then maybe look at some root crops. Absolutely, I enjoyed doing that. That's a really cool bit of kit. That. The hybrid, or do I didn't go for the hybrid in the end, did we? Or did we? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I just memory like a sieve. Least equipment. Yeah, the hybrid extractor. We didn't go for the bigger one, didn't we? Anyway, if you have enjoyed it, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to see a comment, feel free. Farm dogs commenting. If you want to share this video, feel free. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.